I'm Sarah McColgan, and I'm a photographer and a director. I'm a big believer in just sort of jumping in and figuring it out whether you feel ready or not. My interest in photography was immediate. Um, when I was in high school, I started shooting and I really fell in love with the process of printing and developing my own film. At 18, I got a job for a newspaper, um, you know, working as a photojournalist. And by 21, I was shooting for fashion magazines, and then that sort of spun into ad campaigns for, for brands. And from there, it sort of just evolved into directing. I was busy thinking about boys, boys, boys. I think as image makers, we have a real responsibility to look closely at the images we're putting out in the world and what they represent. With the video for boys, we really wanted to just highlight an array of different dudes from different genres, different body types, different ethnicities, just, just a real diverse group to sort of say that there's not necessarily one particular dream guy. It was, it was less and less about gratuitous eye candy or overt sexual innuendo and more about just having fun and featuring every guy in a sort of portrait-like manner. I wish I had a better excuse like I had to trust the hotel I've been fortunate to work with certain artists over and over and I really love that. I love when an artist wants to be really involved in the process. It means that they really care and that they're invested. I think that connection creates more meaningful work. I could have told you Entertainers have demanding schedules, so you don't always get as much time with them as you would want. You always want more time. There's never enough time in a production day. I think at its best, you're able to connect on a personal level and really kind of have a one-on-one -on -one and figure out where they want to take it visually, you know, what emotions are steeped in the music. and. And through that connection, you're able to really push past the surface and create something special. Other times, it can feel a little more transactional. There can be a lot of people in the room, a lot of opinions, people from the label, PR people, product manager, you know, management. There, there can be a lot of people and it can really kind of create a distance that between you and your subject and I think that's just the nature of the business and you still have a job to do and you know we're all professionals so you go and you do the job but the, in those cases it can feel a little bit more like you're a gun for hire broken hearts everywhere from stepping on up we don't care somebody tell me what we gonna do even though it's plenty to share people hungry in the streets it ain't fair but you don't think about it until it's you. The video for Aloe Black's Love is the Answer was centered around two brothers who end up going on very different paths. It's the only thing that makes us truly free. Aloe reached out and wanted to collaborate on a video that brought awareness to the school to prison pipeline. The specific issue we wanted to talk about was willful defiance, which is a real problem in schools across the country, specifically inner city schools where it's you're sort of disproportionately targeting certain students based on really minor infractions. And the the punishment has been really severe and and we we wanted to start a conversation around that to say what happens to these kids if they do get expelled and from a narrative perspective we 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 see two brothers whose parents get separated and one brother goes off to a private school and one brother goes off to a public school and we just watch the 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 events unfold from there and ultimately sending them into very different directions.
The town I grew up in was a really working class, so I grew up around a lot of really blue collar people and my parents had a relentless work ethic and, and I owe a lot to my parents because they instilled an almost delusional sense of confidence in me that I could do whatever I wanted. Oh. 